Albuquerque Police Department, especially when it comes to police shootings. Well, a new database might help us figure that out. A group of New Mexicans is creating a website of all the public records, videos, and evidence involving recent deadly encounters. Here's News 13's Emily Younger. Crystal, people have said time and time again they don't feel like they get enough information from APD. Now a New Mexico nonprofit is getting ready to change that. Get on the ground! James Boyd, Mary Hawks, Chris Torres. They're some of the most controversial APD shootings, yet not one officer involved has been charged, and the department hasn't ruled any unjustified. Attorneys have fired back at the department. It's a clearly unjustified taking of a human life with no excuse and no justification, and it's intentional. Now, a New Mexico group wants you to be the judge. Our goal is really to help provide context for each of the cases. Soon, all the most talked about APD shootings, including the moments leading up to the killing of James Boyd, In the shootings you may have forgotten all the details about, like the Jeremy Robertson case, a guy shot and killed by APD in July, will be detailed online with pictures, video, witness and family accounts, and all public police records related to the cases. It's all part of a database a nonprofit group called New Mexico Compass is working on. We think the database is going to help give context that will actually reveal some of the deeper problems that exist on all sides. Joe Cardillo is the deputy director of the project. He says the purpose to give the public an inside look into how APD handles shooting cases. This is not about, you know, throwing the hero versus villain context on anybody. He says instead, the database will be a transparent way for the community to decide whether deadly shootings like this one are justified or not. The group hopes to launch the website in January. Back to you. All right, thanks, Emily. Now, if the database works like the group hopes, it plans to take the idea to other cities across the country and highlight police shootings there.